Till now, I have done a lot of reviews on this channel about tools that you can use for wave automations. But what about desktop automations? I mean the applications, the software that you run on desktop. What if you can automate those? So that is exactly what I brought to you today. So hello guys, welcome back to SAS LTD Deals. If you are new here, make sure you subscribe to our channel. As you can see 91.6% viewers on this channel are not subscribed to this channel. So please make sure you subscribe to our channel because this helps us a lot to make more new exclusive content for you. And if you are interested in a community where you can discuss various lifetime deals on SaaS, you can join this group on Facebook. Here you will get various exciting giveaways such as this new link giveaway. Check the link in the description below. Back to the review, the tool that I am going to review today is Python RPA. So this is a tool that you can use obviously for web automations. But the best part about this tool is that it allows you to automate desktop applications. This is something you haven't seen on any other tools. And it is currently available on AppSumo as a lifetime deal. The regular pricing is over $700. But at AppSumo you are getting this at only $59 and this is a one-time single payment. Python RPA is an alternative to UI path. Now let's have a look at all the features that you are going to get with this deal. So as you can see here are all the features and here are two tiers that you can buy from AppSumo. The tier 1 costs $59. And here you will get access to 5 attended bots and 2 unattended bots. On the other hand, there is license tier 2 with a cost of $169 with these limits. If you want to have a look at all the automations of Python RPA at a glance, here it is. As you can see, you can do desktop automations, web automations, Excel automations, and so many other types of automations using this software. So currently we are in the Python RPS website. And after you log into this website, you will have to download their application. And the size of this application is going to be around 280 megabytes. So after downloading that, you have to open that software. So as you can see, this is the software of Python RPA and on the left side, you can see all of the automations that you can run. So for application, you can run these automations. For Azure, you can run these automations. Now let's see the browser actions. So here are all the actions that you can perform within your browser. And then there are some conditions that you can use. There are also coordinate actions, CV actions, database actions, desktop actions, Excel actions. You can also see all the automations of file. So here are those. And then within folder, keyboard, then loops, mail, PDF, request, and then SAP automations. And then you can also get access to scripting, the string operations, and then telegram. There is also time automations and word automations. So obviously I cannot show you all the automations. What I want to do is show you one specific automations. And this way you will get a clear idea about how the automation of Python RPA work. So what I want to show you is running an application. For example, on my computer there is an application called CapCut. And you may already know about it. It is a video editor. So I want to automatically run this software using Python RPA. And then I want to keep the CapCut application running for 10 seconds. And I also want to automatically close this application. And all of these tasks will be done by Python RPA on fully automation. So first, obviously, you have to create a new project or you have to choose an existing project. I have already opened a project. You have to select the folder for that project. As you can see, here is the folder or the location of my project. Now to start the automation, first, you have to insert the start automation. For that, go to this project section and then click on scenarios. And then you have to click on this main. So after you click on this main button, this start action is going to appear. And this is something you will always need no matter what type of automations you run. This indicates that your automation is starting. So now since I said that I want to run an application, so I'm going to go to these actions. So here you will obviously get access to all of the automations that are available within Python RPA. So I want to run an application. So let's open this application tab. Let's select this run application. So as you can see, this automation is now available. So I have to connect this start with this run application automation. Now I have to select what application I want to run on automation. I have to select the path. So for that, I have to click on browse. 
as I have said earlier, I was going to automate cap cut for 10 seconds. I want to keep it running for 10 seconds and then automatically close it. So I'm selecting cap cut from my PC and then click on select file. So as you can see now the path has been selected. So now I have to make sure that this cap cut is running for 10 seconds. For that, I want to open the delay action or the delay automation. So to add the delay, I have to click on the right button of my mouse. And here I can search for any of the automations. I can also select that delay from here, but I'm going to simply search from here. So let's type delay. So as you can see, here is the action. So let's select delay. So now as you can see, it has appeared. So first of all, I want to connect this. And then on here, I have to select the duration of the delay and I have to select that on seconds. So let's select 10 seconds. So now CapCut is going to run for 10 seconds and then I want to close it. So for closing, I want to use another action and that is going to be the skill process. So let's select this. Now let's bring this on this right side and now let's also connect this one. Now once again, I have to provide the file path. I can simply go to this path and then select all and then copy this and then paste it on this box. As you can see, the path is now here. Now to kill the process, I also have to provide the process name and you will get the process name of an application from task manager. But for that, you have to first open that application. So let's open CapCut and then let's open task manager. As you can see now, I am running task manager and after opening task manager, you have to come to this details section and then you will find the task name. So I have opened CapCut and the process name or the task name is CapCut. You do not have to provide this .exe. You do not have to write that. You only have to write this CapCut title. So now let's go back to Python RPA. So back to this software of Python RPA. I have to name the process name on here. Now I can either provide the value on here or I can also click on this and then type it on this field. So let's type cap cut. And as I have said earlier, I do not have to mention the .exe, only the process name. So this is cap cut. So that's it. That's all you have to do. Now here is a full automation about opening a application that is going to be CapCut, a video editor. And then we are going to have 10 seconds delay, which means the app is going to be opened for 10 seconds and then it is going to get closed. So now let's start our automation. Let's click on run main. So as you can see, the automation is working perfectly. CapCut has opened. Now let's wait for 10 seconds. So as you have seen, it has worked perfectly. CapCut was open and then it ran for 10 seconds and then it closed automatically. So I have to say the automation is working perfectly. So just like this, you can also create your own automation. It could be web automation or desktop automation. You can select any of this automation from this left side. As you can see, there are various automations according to their categories. So overall, I have to say Python RPA is an excellent tool. It lets you run both web and desktop automations and creating an automation is super easy. All you have to do is select your automation, the steps, the processes, and that's all. And a great news is it is available on AppSumo. So by paying only $59, you can get access to this tool for a lifetime. So if you want to buy this tool from AppSumo on a lifetime deal, make sure you check the link in the description below. Here are all the features. And here are two tiers that you can buy from AppSumo. So that's it for our today's video. I hope you have found the video to be helpful. If you do, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more content like this.